Imagine you've just landed after a long flight to America and you're almost free. But first, you need to go through passport control. What will they ask you? How should you respond? Hi, Alicia here. Navigating passport control isn't as hard as you might think. In this lesson, you'll learn how. Gustavo has just arrived in New York. He's in line at passport control. Let's watch. Next. Passport, please. Hello. Here you are. How long will you be staying? For six weeks. And where will you be staying? At the Four Seasons Hotel. What's the purpose of your visit? I'm here on business. Okay. Thank you. Welcome to the United States. Now the lesson focus. Here's what you say to navigate passport control. Ready? Do you remember the first question the immigration officer asked after Gustavo gave him his passport? How long will you be staying? Immigration officers ask this question to find out about the length of a visitor's stay. They want to know if a visitor plans to stay for two weeks, for example, or one month. First is the phrase, How long? Next is the word, Will. After this is the word you. And last is the phrase be staying. Gustavo responds with a length of time for six weeks. First is the word for. Next is the number six. And last is the word weeks. Together it's for six weeks. The sentence structure to answer the question, how long will you be staying, is four plus number of days or weeks. Imagine you're going to stay for two weeks. Answer the question. How long will you be staying? For two weeks. Do you remember the second question the immigration officer asked Gustavo in the scene? And where will you be staying? This question is identical to the first question, except instead of saying, How long? The immigration officer asked, Where? The immigration officer is asking to find out which hotel or address a visitor will be staying at. Again, it's, where will you be staying? In response, Gustavo gives the name of his hotel. At the Four Seasons Hotel. First is the word, at. And after this is the name of the hotel. The Four Seasons Hotel. Together, it's, at the Four Seasons Hotel. The sentence structure to answer the question, Where will you be staying? is at plus your hotel name. Imagine you'll be staying at the Plaza Hotel. Answer the question. Where will you be staying? At the Plaza Hotel. Do you remember the third question the immigration officer asked in the scene? What's the purpose of your visit? The immigration officer asks this to understand why Gustavo is visiting. First is a contraction of what and is. What's. Next is the word. The. After this is the word. Purpose. Next is the word. Of. Following this is the word your. And last is the word visit. Together it's what's the purpose of your visit? In response, Gustavo answers I'm here on business. This starts with the core phrase I'm here on. Following this core phrase is the word business. Altogether, it's 
I'm here on business. This means that Gustavo is in the country to do business and not just to sightsee. Alternatively, he could have said, I'm here for pleasure. This is the same pattern as the first response. The only difference is that on business has been taken out and for pleasure is used instead. Again, that's I'm here for pleasure. Now you try. Imagine your trip is for sightseeing. Answer the question. What's the purpose of your visit? I'm here for pleasure. Now imagine you are visiting the U.S. on business. Answer the question. What's the purpose of your visit? I'm here on business. Liked this quick lesson? Watch the full version at EnglishClass101.com to understand the whole dialogue. While you're there, learn all about American culture with our audio lessons and cultural word lists. Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. See you next time.